Hello, this is Wyland with Drone Rental Supply and today we're going to be taking a look at the FX series of video transmitters and we're going to compare it with the Luminaire series of transmitters because they're very similar. So the FX series of video uh, transmitters comes in three varieties. There's a 25 milliwatt, a 200 milliwatt, <clears throat> and a 600 milliwatt. This is the 200 milliwatt and we also have the 600 milliwatts in stock. In, in my opinion, the 25 is too specialized and it's not something that you'd really run unless you uh, are specifically hosting uh, racing events that are on a very small closed course. Uh, 600 milliwatt, uh, you can actually wash out other people's channels very easily. So if you're flying alone or if you're flying around a lot of trees and uh, inside buildings, then uh, 600 uh, milliwatts might be more applicable to you. But here's the plastic case that it comes in. If you open it up, it comes with the instruction manual. Instruction manual on one side gives you all the technical specs. And on the other side, it'll give you all 40 channels. This is not the standard 32 that you're normally accustomed to seeing. It, all, it also has the race band channel, but it doesn't cut out any of the uh, standard 32 channels. Down here, if you zoom in on this small little diagram, what you'll see is that this video transmitter will accept a 7 to 24 volt in, or sorry, 7 to 20 volt in. So it can take a 3S battery and 4S battery, no problem. You don't have to have any step downs for it. And then what it'll do is it'll filter out a 5 volt out to your camera. So you only, you don't need to run a separate uh, power to your camera when you're running this transmitter. And we'll give you a demo of that uh, later on in this video. Uh, it comes with the standard whip antenna, which uh, you most likely replace, but in a pinch, uh, this will definitely work, especially if you're flying close range. Here is the stock antenna that, or not uh, wiring that it comes with. This one is your JST wire for your power. You can uh, cut this off and direct solder if you want to, but uh, the JST connector makes it uh, very convenient. This will run to your video transmitter. So this will plug into your video transmitter and this will connect to your camera. So this is a uh, pretty standard wiring that we're seeing now. And it's actually very useful if you buy the right camera for your video transmitters. Here is the video transmitter itself. Uh, so it's very small, it's very lightweight. Uh, it has a push button style to be able to change your bands and your channels. So that's very convenient, very nice. There are LEDs on the side which uh, in the demo they'll light up and uh, you can actually see them working. There's also a microphone so uh, a lot of the pros are actually using this to listen to their motors on their quads. I haven't used it, uh, I don't really know much about it but uh, the microphone is there. Connector on one side and then the uh, for the antenna is on the other side. And then over here It'll just show you an FX logo for the series of uh, video transmitters and it'll tell you that this one is the 200 milliwatt version. So that's it for this video transmitter and what I'd like to do is I'd like to compare it with the Luminaire branded version because what you'll see is that they're very similar. Comes in exactly the same case pretty much uh, inside. The instruction book is a little different. This one's Luminaire specific. You'll notice up here that uh, they'll, they have uh, 32 channels. Uh, they actually cut out one of the channels to add the race band channels. So instead of having 40 channels, they have 32 channels. But uh, they sacrifice one of the uh, one of the bands in order to do that. On the other side, they have a full uh, screen image of uh, what the VTX does, and it's a very similar: tw uh, 7 to 24 volts and then 5 volt out LEDs, uh, microphone, and then push button. The standard whip antenna, which all of them come with. Here is their braided cable, and as you can see, it's the exact braided cable as the FX series of uh, video transmitters. Uh, once we come in here, uh, you'll notice that uh, they're very similar in uh, design. Uh, the inputs down here, antenna connects up here, push button, microphone, and then LEDs. But because this is 32 channel, uh, the last LED doesn't actually light up. And on the other side, uh, this particular one is a 25 milliwatt. Lumineer now offers 25, 200, and 600 just like the FX series. So you notice that uh, both of them are very similar 
And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug up this one and it will also plug up this one and then you can kind of show the video quality of each and you can tell that they're basically going to be the same. So just give us a moment and we'll set up and uh, we'll show you how to hook up everything to your camera. So we have everything we need to actually set up a FPV setup. So we have our video transmitter, we have a power distribution cable, we have a three cell and a four cell light, uh, lipo battery, and we have two cameras that we can hook up. So this is a uh, 800 TVL CMOS camera, and this is a Sony uh, CCD camera, which is I think 700 TVL, oh no, 600 TVL. So uh, both of these are uh, very good cameras and uh, you can see the resolution once we uh, hook it up to our monitor or start transmitting to our monitor. So let's go ahead and get started. So take out the whip antenna. Tighten it on. Unspool this a little bit. White cable to the input, there we go, GST cable to our connector, and then we will take our 800 TVL camera, and then we will connect it to our video transmitter. So what's going to happen now is this video transmitter will get power from this LiPo battery, and then it will output power to our camera via uh, 5 volts. So we'll just go ahead and connect it up. So here's our 3 cell battery. So what you'll notice now if you zoom in is that uh, these lights have lit up. So if you do a short press you'll actually go between all of the channels. So there are 8 channels per band and I'm just gonna slowly cycle till I get back to the number 1 again. So there's the top end. If you hold and let go, you'll act, oh, here we go, hold on. You'll actually switch through the bands. So you have to hold for quite a while, and then it'll actually switch the blue one to different bands. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way back. And then I want to get back to channel 1 again. Because that is what our video camera is connected to. There we go. So that's hooked up. And this is hooked up. So we're going to go over to our monitor. And you, you can see what we see with the video camera. So right there. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So this is the resolution of this 800 TVL camera. As you can see, it's actually, let me see. Ah, there we go. That's straight, right? So... You can actually see that it's a very nice quality camera and this is on a 10-inch uh, display right here with a uh, Immersion RC uh, receiver on the back. So again, very nice quality and uh, no lag rate. So if I shade this around, it's uh, instant feed. So let me unplug this camera and then I can show it to you with this camera right over here. So let me unplug that. So let's see, I'm going to plug this one in, make sure the yellow wire to yellow wire, make sure I don't blow anything up. And uh, we use the three cell, this time we're actually going to use the four cell li LiPo battery just to show that uh, it can actually accept both without a problem. You don't actually need a step down in order to use this. So again, we connect it up, boots up just fine, no magic white smoke, so it's uh, operating just fine. And then if we go over to the video camera, we can show you the visual quality of this one. So as you can see, uh, going to a 600 TVL, uh, there's definitely a, a lower resolution with this particular camera. But what's nice about this camera is one, it's significantly smaller, and two, uh, there's actually a lot of stuff in here to uh, help with filtering. Although with this particular setup, you really don't need much filtering on board the camera to get a good resolution. Uh, definitely the 800 TVL has a much uh, clearer picture. So that's just a demo of these two cameras. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug again and I'll show you what the picture quality is with the Luminaire camera 
at 25 milliwatts. But at this range, milliwatts really doesn't matter. It's just the resolution out uh, to your receiver. So I'm going to unplug again. So I have the Luminaire one ready to go. So I'm going to pull this out, put this back into its case, and then I'm going to plug up the Luminaire one with the same cable. Mm, plastic in the way. There we go. So again, same thing over here. Uh, let me plug up the other camera. The other camera has higher resolution, so we'll just use that one. You don't look too yellow. Okay. There we go. All right. Back over to the cam. And as you can see, uh, basically the same picture quality. And you can tell that the TVL one over here is definitely has a higher uh, picture quality. Really good. Look at that. That's our old one. Can you actually read stuff? Uh, it won't focus that close. There's the other one. So cool. Uh, that's just the uh, basic overview of how to set it up. And uh, we'll do our wrap up. And uh, we'll be right back. So that was our quick review of our FX series video transmitters. Uh, we carry this line because it actually offers a better value than the Luminaire series uh, video transmitters. Uh, definitely check out our website. We offer the 200 and 600 milliwatt series. Uh, they're really good transmitters. Uh, probably one of the best on the market that we've tried. Uh, also, when you buy from us, uh, we carry extra braid cables and uh, we bundle uh, an extra one in with ours so that if you have more than one multi-rotor you can have uh, one in there for the other one or you can use it as a spare and if you happen to actually break both you can always buy more from us we carry these as a separate piece that you can buy from us so uh, definitely check us out if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below until next time thank you for watching